Hi, Becky. Wanted to send you a note, let you know how appreciated and loved you are. I think you probably know this, um, that I count you as one of my greatest treasures. I wouldn't be where I am in my life right now if it wasn't for you. There are several people in my world that when I think of them, I think of what a difference and what a change they made. And you're one of them. I would not be here on this team. I would still be in the emergency room um, crying probably because I was so miserable. I wouldn't have had the courage to come do this that I'm doing now that I love. And it's all because of you. You give people the ability and the space to become who they are. Um, you support and love people unlike anyone I've ever met. I hope that I can do the same someday for other people around me. I just want to let you know that you are loved and you are treasured again. I'm always here and I love our talks and please call me anytime. And you got this. You got this. Between the people who love you and God praying for you, you got it. I love you. Hi, Becky. This is Melissa. Just telling you that I love you and I'm thinking of you. And I know God's going to do great things for you. And I'm so happy for the news of your labs and uh, that you got good results from that in the EKG. We'll just keep continuing to pray um, that you can get in the trial. It'll be the right trial and that God will completely heal you. Love you. Hey, Becky. It's Sharika. How you feeling? I hope you're feeling great. I know the last time I saw you, you looked amazing. But a couple things that I wanted to make sure that you take away and that you know, and almost things that I want you to do, Becky, is um, first of all, number one, I would still be working on the floor using the, the little push around cards. And I would be using that as a walker and crying my eyes out every night when I get home because I was in so much pain. If it were not for you, you have been everything to me you i have grown so much professionally personally spiritually and everything i owe and i'm just forever indebted to you for those things some scriptures for thought and i know you know every last one of these don't forgive me psalms 55 and 22 and i believe first peter 5 and 7 uh they teach us to cast all of our cares on the lord and that is exactly what i need you to do Becky. i need you to cast all your cares on the lord because the lord cares for us um, also, I need you to take a lot of medicine. And what do I mean by medication? Um, according to Proverbs 17 and 22, I believe, it tells us that medication is a cheerful heart. I want you to have a cheerful heart um, and just be reminded that God is with us. He never leaves us. He never forsakes us. And he's never going to start. So lastly, feed your spirit often. Feed your spirit often. Some scriptures that I want you to meditate on and think about and just feed yourself isaiah 41 and 10 exodus 14 and 14 malachi 42 romans 8 and 28 i know you know that one. matthew 11 28 through 29 um, and just know that i love you my family loves you from the bottom of my heart i love you and i am dedicated to fighting every single day of my life like becky that's gonna make sense one day love you becky say hi miss becky Miss Becky. Say, I hope you feel better. I hope you feel better. Blow Miss Becky a kiss. Mm -hmm. Oh, say, you can do it, Miss Becky. Oh, you can do it, Miss Becky. <laughs> hey, Becky, I just wanted to let you know that we are praying for you. You have been such a blessing um, to me and to my family over the last several years as a Christian woman, as a mentor, as a leader as a friend. And um, I just hope that this finds you feeling well. We are praying for peace and comfort and ultimate healing. And I just hope that you know how much you're loved and how much we're praying for you and how much we miss you at work. Love you. Hello, Becky. I just want to tell you that I think you are a huge blessing, especially to me. And I thank Jesus for your presence and influence in my life. And I know he's going to bless you. I love you. Hey, Becky. We love you. We miss you. We're coming to you live from the PCT course. We're ready for you to come back. Yes, we are. We love you. We pray all is well with you and your treatments and your family. Bye-bye, Miss Becky. Bye. 
Hey Becky, this is Tamara Wright in Employee Health. Just hoping that this message finds you encouraged and keeping you in my thoughts and prayers. Even though we haven't worked directly, we've both worked for Baptist Health for a very long time. Your name has often come up and you've always been a great resource. Wishing you the very best. Hey Becky, it's Robin, your favorite educator. Don't tell anybody. Just thinking about you today at our cabin. It's over here close to Wilburn, close to Heber. Just want you to know that God loves you. I love you and I think that you are awesome. Hi Becky, this is Shawnee. I just wanted to say I love you so much. I'm glad you're doing better. Miss you. You need to hurry up and get well so we can go garage selling and antique shopping. Love you. Bye. Good morning, boys and girls. Good, Good morning, Miss Gibbons. Thank you for joining us for story time and critical care today. We're going to be reading from the AACM Procedure Manual for Critical Care, Chapter 54 on Temporary Transference and Epicardial Pacing. Ooh. Becky, we wish you were here for our story time. We miss you. We miss you, Becky! Pop, 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 pop. Hi, Becky! Here we all are. We wanted to say hello and we love you and we're thinking of you. We think of you every day and we love you so much. Hope you're doing well. Miss you. Hi Becky, it's Mary Barre. I never got a chance to tell you, but when I was working in the vaccine clinic and there were all those mornings that you led us in prayer in the huddle, your prayers touched my heart. And so I just want to let you know that. And I want you to know that I'm praying for you as are many, many people. And I wish you all the best. Bye. Hi, Becky. This is Stacy Smith here. Um, our paths crossed many years ago at the Baptist School of Nursing. You were uh, a teacher of mine, and I always thought um, great of you as a mentor, and you taught me many things, and um, I just want to say um, I wish you the best, and I'm praying for you, and um, it was good to see you again at the clinic um, when we started working at the COVID clinic, and you take care. Bye-bye now. Hi, Becky. Um, Dasha and I wanted to let you know that we are rooting for you and you're very important to us and we are thinking about you um, so much so that both of you are in my dreams and um, just want you, you to know that we, we love you very much. Dasha, you have anything to say? You can give her five? You can give five? Yeah. That's cool, girl. Becky, this is Michael Rogers from Pastor Care. Uh, on behalf of Pastor Care, we just wanted you to know that we're praying for you. Uh, I am grateful to all the work that you've done um, for our Pastor Care program, for our CP program throughout the years, and all that you have meant to uh, Baptist Health. So at this time, we just want you to know we're cheering for you, and we're praying that um, God will show himself mighty in your life especially in this season. We love you and we're praying for you. God bless. Becky, we just want you to know how much you mean to us. What a source of strength and inspiration you've been to us and to so many others. We love you and we are continuing to pray for you daily. And Becky, I just wanted to add ditto to what Joe just said. And it has always amazed me how you can pull out stuff uh, that just means so much to us in our meetings. And thank you for your inspiration uh, through the years. And as Joe said, we pray for you and for Ralph. And uh, we know that the Lord is with you. Amen. Love you. Love you. Hi, Becky. I just want to let you know that I'm thinking and praying for you daily. And remember what it says in Isaiah 41.10. Fear not, for I am with you. And we know that he is with you. Fight like Becky. Hey. 
So I've been trying to think about what would I say if I made a, vi a video for Becky. And to be honest, I've struggled. I don't know why, because I can talk to Becky so easily all the time for years. She knows everything about me and all of my secrets um, and has mentored me and coached me through some of the toughest times in my life. And honestly, I, I wouldn't be who I am today without Becky and her influence in my life. Um, this diagnosis has rocked my world. Um, I've cried a lot of tears, I've prayed a lot of prayers, and I've asked God a lot of questions about why. Uh, I've said before, I feel like after what Becky's been through in life, that she should have an unlimited joy pass forever. Uh, she's been through such hard stuff and, and done that with such grace and and done God's work through all of that grief and and helped others, you know, to deal with their own grief and their own hurt and has just really taken what was so difficult and helped others. So I just, I have no doubts that that's what this journey will look like too, that even though it's Becky going through the hard stuff, she's going to help people and inspire people and because that's who she is and that's what she does and um, honestly there aren't enough words in the world for me to talk about how amazing she is. I love her so much and I think she's one of the most amazing people in the world and and um, I just am praying every day that God's going to heal her and that we're going to be celebrating uh, as she recovers. I love you Becky. Becky dear friend. No profound words, just a sincere message from our hearts. You are the most courageous woman we know. You've been our lifeline since we've known you. You, Ralph, and your awesome daughters are always and forever in our prayers. We love you all. You've got this. Becky, you know I'm a man of few words, but all the words she said there from our hearts and we love you. Hi Becky, this video is supposed to, sh to give you some inspiration, but actually I wanna thank you so much for the inspiration that you've given me in the time that I've known you. Just watching you and watching you work, watching your strengths, watching your, your amazing outlook on life and how you care about everybody and how you take care of everybody and how you pray after the huddles. You are a wonderful person. You walk around with a special glow and I kind of know what that glow is and you're not alone on this pathway. I'll be thinking about you and praying for you. Love you, bye. Hey friend, I just wanted to let you know how much I miss you. Miss you like crazy. I know you've got to be at home and that's your number one priority right now. You need to take care of you, but I miss you. I miss our laughs. I miss you just listening to me vent. And crazy enough, I, I miss your hugs. You know, it's the true what they say. You just never really know what you're gonna miss until you ain't got it no more. But I do believe that God is a faithful God and true to his word. And I'm believing the word that he gave you and that one day he's gonna bring you back so I can get another hug. Even if I say I don't want a hug, you hug me anyway. <laughs> You've got just an innate way of just making things better. You've made our team better and better people, um, better professionally, me personally. You've just got a way of doing that. And it's not on purpose. It just comes natural to you. And so I just can't wait to get my Becky Russell back and I know our team is ready to get our Becky Russell back, but you take care of you and we'll be fine until that day. And I do believe it's coming. I'm just believing God. And so continue taking it one day at a time. I am still praying for you daily and missing you like crazy. Love you, mean it. Becky, as you are fighting your greatest enemy, cancer, I wanted you to know that Kevin and I are continuing to keep you and Ralph and the rest of your family in our prayers. We're believing for a miracle. As I meditate on God's Word, I remember Psalms 92, and I have been praying this over you, that God will give you the strength of a wild bull. 
He will anoint you with fresh olive oil. For your eyes will gaze on the ruin of your enemies, and your ears will delight in the fall of your foes. For you will flourish like a palm tree. You will grow like a cedar in Lebanon, planted in the house of Yahweh. You will flourish in the courtyards of your God. For even in old age you will be vigorous, still full of sap, still bearing fruit, proclaiming that Yahweh is upright, my rock in whom there is no wrong. Meditate on these words. God's got this, and I'm going to continue to fight like Becky.